Hello YouTube and welcome to a new series of Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands. We're here outside of Vault 101. We've uh, just finished that. I did that off camera because I felt it wasn't worth recording. Because we're now in the actual real part of the game. So the reason I'm doing this series is because of the fact that, well, I haven't played this game for a while. I haven't played Fallout 3 for a while, that is. Um, uh, but it, it doesn't run very well on my computer, so we're playing it through A Tale of Two Wastelands and Fallout New Vegas. And yeah, we've got a fairly lightweight modded experience going on here with a couple things just to make stuff better. I'll probably put a mod list in the description to say what that's about. Um, but for the moment, I'm just going to keep exploring the wasteland, I think. Let's see what happens. Um, yeah, so the, the reason why I'm doing this is because obviously I haven't played the game for a while. And I sort of wanted to see... Well, I, I wanted to play it again and, well, I thought I might as well record it. Because, you know, I've done some of the series. I think I did like maybe two or three episodes last time. But this time I could probably turn this into like a proper series of sorts. Um, I was going to do Fallout 4. But... I prefer this game, so I decided to do this one instead. Ooh, nice. Just uh, read those books. Excellent. Bunch of stuff already. Oh, my inventory is getting very full. Um, so one of the mods we have installed is Project Nevada, which has me to Sprint. Like that. Hold down the shift key for that. Uh, but it also rebalances a lot of the stuff in the um, in the game. Uh, just in general, so uh, carry weight and all that stuff is different, and also gives me this uh, dynamic crosshair, which is nice, much better than the uh, standard non-dynamic one. So it's a good mod. Oh, and I also have a grenade hotkey as well, which you can see down next to my. Um, Action points bar and condition. There's a grenade there. And if I hold G, I can throw it automatically. Like, so. Yeah. So. That's pretty handy as well. And that'll be whichever grenade is, um... I guess, best in my inventory. I'm not really sure how it picks which one to use, but... Uh, I know it picks one at some point, so... Hello. Oh, no, not, not right now. Um, yeah, so. We've got a bunch of stuff ready to go on this. I'll be damned. You're from that vault, Vault 101. <laughs> I ain't seen one of those jumpsuits in a long time. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Hello there. Um, I do. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna be nice to them. Like, even if I am choosing to be an evil character, I'd probably choose to be nice so that I can decide later on whether I want to be evil or not. Friendly and well mannered. I think. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Uh, yeah. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Yes. I came looking for my dad. Hello. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Let's talk about this bomb then. So I get the first quest from this. What about it? Um I Yeah, I think someone should disarm it. I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? 
You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Um, I boosted my explosive skill earlier, so I got up to 30, which I think is the minimum requirement for this. So... Yes, I could see about disarming it, sure. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Oh, easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Can I get... Not an oh. option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. Damn it. <sighs> sure, yeah. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Okay. Staying out of trouble, I hope. Hello. Mind your manners now. Thank you. Thanks for pulling me over again for no reason. Um, so yeah, this is Megaton. This is the uh, first well, Megaton. Uh, yeah. First town, and well. The main questioning hub for a little while. Of course, cool, so you have a choice to blow it up if you want. Um, I think I'm going to choose not to blow it up because I don't. There are a bunch of quests in here, and I haven't done most of them before, to be honest. Well, I say most. There's like a few I haven't done before, which I'm curious about possibly doing. Um, I do have an eye for explosive skill. Okay, good. So I can do that when I want to, but I do know. That there's a certain someone in this town who's a massive asshole and would hire me to blow that up. For my last time. He's in there. Uh, so we gonna have to deal with him. Otherwise he'll send um uh, mercenaries after me. Very cool. Talent company stuff. Yeah. The thing. Okay. Cool. Right. Oh, you piece of junk. Every day it's the same damn thing. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. Weird loading screens. Don't know what's with that. What is that weapon you've got on your back? Hey, be more careful. Goddamn radio. It looks like that's been, uh, that's one of the mods, I guess. Add to that. Uh, have I got anything that does a lot of damage? This does more damage per shot. Bam. He's dead now. Yeah, so this is Mr. Burke. He hires you to um, blow up the bomb. I don't want to do that, eh? Why would I want to blow up the bomb? It'd be ridiculous. It'd be like deleting an entire quest hub just because of reasons, I guess. And I get a cool pistol from it as well. I say a cool pistol. The normal pistol I'm supposed to have got, but apparently I got given a laser pistol instead for some reason. Not sure why, but I was given the laser pistol. I'm not supposed to be given that, but sure. Looking for a drink? Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Uh... Again, I'm gonna be nice to this guy because he gives you a discount. Wait, you're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Well, then. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling that discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Anything for you, friend. And you don't really sell me anything useful, do you? I'll sell you my police batons. This Chinese pistol. I don't normally carry the Chinese pistol around, even though it apparently does more damage than my 9mm for some reason. Not even sure how that going to be, but whatever. Uh, I think I want to hold onto one of these jumpsuits. Just, you know, as like a memory of the fact See? of the vault I came from. When I get um, the house at Megaton. I just saw this bomb. A traveler, eh? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Random person. Uh, let's get 
get some hockey's bound, shall we? Alright. Cool. I've already hockeyed Simpax because I'm playing on hard. Uh, which you can see, I have uh, There's not that many I'm open. Yeah, play on hard, so take a lot of damage from things. Right, let us talk hey, with you. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. Um, okay. Let's pick, let's pick a funny option here if I can. Uh, I would like... I know she gives you an armored vault suit if you pick, like, certain ones. I don't know if she gives you it for all of them, but I know she gives you it for this one. Um. <laughs> I quite like this one, I wonder. Mm. Oh, certainly, Your Majesty. Oh. <laughs> then consider this armored vault suit to be Megaton's gift to your mighty empire. However, you may consider going incognito. People around here don't always take kindly to monarchy, you know. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Sure, I want a quest. Give me this quest. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Sure. All right then. Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Let's, let's go with food. Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Sure. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Yes, I also want to trade with you before Absolutely. I go. Absolutely! So, yeah, just like last time, I'm going to start with this quest, and then we're going to go on and do some other stuff later. It's just sort of my traditional start, as it were, for this game. She has a lot of weapon mods. What? Okay. That's a lot of weapon mods. Do you sell weapons? Get a lever action rifle. That'd be nice. 31, 121. Otherwise, 10 millimeter rounds. I kind of want that. Oh, you also sell battle rifles. Ooh, that's actually quite good. What's this do? This does. Okay. How could okay, so the lever action apparently fires faster than the battle rifle, which I kind of find hard to believe, but sure. Whatever. Okay, let's have a look at our things to sell. I don't really use grenades, to be honest. I know I've got a grenade hockey, and it's nice, and all, but I don't really use them. Uh, let's sell the security armor. I mean, more than need. Yeah, I don't really need this stuff. Cigarettes, wonder glue.
artillery to rounds, just to get us started. And let's let's buy this lever action rifle and see how it works. Can't yet buy that. Do I want it though? Not really. Good hunting. I do Hard want it, work. but not not yet, because I definitely can't use it. So anyway, we have a slightly better jumpsuit and now a lever action rifle. The USA and nowhere else. Okay. Sure. Right. We now have a proper weapon. Some description. Let's put this on five and put this on six and that on seven. And of course I got my laser pistol for whenever that gets working. So let's disarm this bomb. Let's get the house. And also the caps. It's on the bomb. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Thanks. Cool. So we have a house now, which is, uh, there, in that building. Ooh, I level up. Nice. Oops. Hmm. Let's get my lock picking up to maybe... 25, and then guns can go up a bit more, because... Yeah. That sounds good. Uh... uh While sprinting. I'll look into that perk because I have not used that before. So I'm assuming that's this bit here I keep my weapons out for. Yeah. I'll look into it when I get there. I know there are some very. Welcome to. Megaton, friendliest town around. Hello. What's up? How are you? Ah, welcome, weary traveler. You look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of chemical assistance. Well, wander no more, my good friend, for I am Doc Hoff, procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance. Now, how may I help you? Yeah, what do you sell? Let's see what the good so, doctor has in his food and chems just generally. Right. I'm gonna take my glasses that I found apparently. Another satisfied customer. See you next time you need the Yeah, I don't really care what he's got to say. What am I doing for weight? Forty two. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, let us put this on that quest. Sure, we'll work something out when we get nearer to enemies. So we want to check out the Super Duper Mart that makes me get some food and medicine for Moira. Um, oh yeah, and in case you hadn't noticed already, actually, uh, yeah. So uh, when I've been looting things, I have the mod. I think it's like Fallout 4 Quick Loot menu, which basically adds the Quick Loot system. Um, from Fallout 4 into um, Fallout New Vegas. Gosh, that was a... I can see why this fires faster than the battle rifle. Jeez. That was um, insane. I'm not going to lie, that was pretty ridiculous. Oh yeah, but of course it's... Uh... I have no idea where the iron sight is on that. Because my hand's in the way. Because someone doesn't know how to hold a weapon properly. Oh, well, they do. But... Okay. Really bad for aiming with, but wow, this thing is pretty good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's actually pretty decent. 
in general. I can see why I'm giving it so early though. Considering my character doesn't understand the concept of like moving his fingers apart just so he can see down the iron sights of the weapon. But uh, you know, things happen. He'll work it out eventually, I'm sure. Unless there are raiders here. Okay, that doesn't sound very good. What is happening over here? Sorry, what? <laughs> What's just happened here? Oh, uh, what's wrong again? These FPS drops. So. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> friend. <laughs> These raiders just got killed. <laughs> what the hell? What's going on? Thanks for not attacking us. Most people don't tolerate ghouls. We were on our way to Wonderworld, but we couldn't make it past the Super Mutants. So now we're just going to find our own place in the Wasteland. <laughs> the City of Ghouls. It's the only place in the Wasteland that belongs to our kind. It's hidden inside the Museum of History. Thank you. Then leave. So, I just got the handmade rifle, or homemade rifle, sorry, Good to from one of those raiders. Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. Hello. No, those things will get me. I can't. I gotta keep going. <laughs> What's this thing in <laughs> his, his pocket? It's like a wind-up toy. Um. You look stronger than all the other grown-ups. Can you... Can you protect me? Probably. Those big things. They're all over Great Itch. And they killed everyone. Please, mister. Please find my papa. You will? Really? Thanks a whole lot. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Please, find my papa and make him come back. 90%. <laughs> you know, oh. <laughs> maybe this will help and maybe it won't. But papa hid a bunch of stuff behind the old diner and a dumpster. He trusted me with the key, and said it was for emergencies. But I bet he wouldn't mind you having it. Hmm. You don't have to be such a jerk about it. Yes, I do. There was an old porta shelter next to the diner by my house. I'll be waiting inside for you to come back. And don't you dare leave me alone. See ya. What exactly is that that you've got there? Is that oh, it's like a grenade. <laughs> That. Okay, right. Back on topic. I do now have this homemade rifle thing. I have no idea what it's like. So we're about to find out, I guess. This is a um I think this is a modded weapon. But it I think it's might be from Project Nevada. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think any of the other mods would add this kind of thing. Um This is nice. Okay. I'm not entirely certain where the where to aim on this site is. I'm guessing right in the middle, but I don't know. Pretty I think I was pretty lucky to get that first kill actually. Or not. And it's not as difficult as I originally thought it was. So. Cool. It's going surprisingly well. Much better than my last time I came here. Thanks for just interrupting me. 
I need to level up screen. Uh, was I doing a lot picking, wasn't I? Sure, and we want educated. Yep. going. Stop running off like that. Cool. I think that's everyone. Ooh, turn the light on. Now we can start looting. Cool. So what do we got? We got this guy. I definitely get over full of my inventory but yeah, whatever. Doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, what do we got here? Another dude. Oh, a shotgun he has. Nice. And we've got. Any machine. Nice. Pretty more money. Good. Yeah, this is always a good place to go to start off with. I mean, it is given to you as a choice of one of the first three places to go to. But, you know, I, I would always pick this one. Really in reality, because it's just it's much easier to go here than actually have access to a lot of stuff really early on in the game. So like if you're doing an energy weapons character, you know, you've kind of got to go here, because normally you wouldn't get a laser pistol. I only got one because of reasons, like a bug I'm guessing, or something like that, I don't know. But they gave me one, for whatever reason. Not sure why. It it might not be a bug. It, it might be that um that it's got a clever script that's specifically designed to give you whichever weapon you're best with. And I guess my energy weapon skill was higher than my gun skill when I started. So I guess that makes sense. But I don't know whether that is actually a thing or not. No, it's not quite what I was hoping for. Lots of, uh, was that a book or a magazine? That's a magazine, okay. Oh, I know, I'm now over encumbered, so I'll start repairing some of this Raider gear. Nice. All of the loot. Alright. What else have we got? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Do -do -do -do. and get to work with it because we're going to get attacked from behind in a minute. I want to be ready. What does this require? Very easy. Okay, so I should be able to do it. Leave. Okay, it's not that then. <laughs> Get the uh, employee ID Move so that it doesn't attack me. <laughs> or whatever he does. I don't actually know what he does if you don't have the employee ID. I think he's supposed to attack you. Office protocol. Error. Loading daily 
Agenda. Air or Security breach detected. Please stand back. Security breach. Uh, We're back. Somebody open up. Don't that. Hang on. Something ain't right here. Uh, Oh, I'm going to come again. I'm not sure why I'm getting these weird FPS drops. I'm going to have to look into that, because these are very strange. It might be because I'm recording. Now my computer isn't ready to... For some reason, isn't able to do that efficiently. Very uncertain about where this... Like, Crosshair is supposed to be. Greetings, fellow office employee. Please present your valid ID. Please clear scanning nice. for office ID. ID accepted. Have a nice day. Cool. Oh. Easy. Oh, and a lever action rifle. Oh, oh nice. Sights for the lever action rifle already. Good. So actually, it wasn't an oversight. It's actually cute. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I just found lever action rifle sights. Yeah. I have a lever action rifle. Doesn't go on here. <laughs> lied to me game. Why would you do that? Why would the game lie to me like that? And say, oh, it's for this weapon. It's just not. <laughs> Why is it? Why is it like this? I was like, that's going to be the best thing ever, because I just, you know, just get on with my life and just be able to continue from there. But, but no, I'm not allowed to. Because reasons. Fucking reasons. Every time. No. Not even good ones. I'm liking the laser pistol. Surprisingly. It's actually pretty good. Alright. Okay, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, I don't actually know how long I've been recording for, but it's probably been enough time to call an episode. Which is the one, there it is. That's, uh, yeah, about 30 minutes. So. Hope you guys enjoyed um, this episode of Tale of Two Wastelands. Um, we'll be back next time where we'll obviously head in this quest and we'll probably look into uh, probably just the re more of this uh, Wasteland Survival Guide quests, I think. Because there's a bunch more. I might go to Minefield next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Goodbye.